you need to write down some goals of what you want. When's the last time you looked at your life and decided what you truly wanted to do with this and accomplish this? Because I believe that whatever is given to you to struggle here, you've got a choice right now. You've got this dude on the other end of the line that's been in your shoes and picked it up and completely turned his life around, or you can continue going down the, lo the road that you're on. I don't want to do this no more. Drinking isn't the answer. Crying is the answer. Calling me was the answer. Making a decision right now to pick up the phone is one of the hardest fucking things you've ever done. Because as men, we're told to suppress our feelings and you feel, and I, and I, I get it, man. You probably think it's gonna lower your street cred or, right? Or, or you're gonna feel like a little bitch or like a pussy. That's bullshit, man. There's nothing wrong with hurting and feeling the way that you do. What's wrong is continuously suppress it and drink it and drink it under the table and hide it and not go. How old's your daughter? She's gonna turn four in August. Well, she's three right now. Right now, bro, she doesn't know what's going on. My son Phoenix is eight. I'll be three years on in July. He was only about four and a half, five years old, five years old when I came back to get my shit. Him and I are closer than we've ever been, and it's only gonna get better from here because I'm never gonna fuck up. So what I'm telling you is if you're looking at this thing like you don't have time, you're wrong. Even if you didn't see her for the next fucking year, you've got the rest of your life fix it now you've got to decide what do you want remember i said patience in that video yeah, I know, man, but you think about me, man. your daughter absolutely not if i was you i would do every fucking thing i could in my power to get my daughter back here's what i know man i see a dude with a huge heart who's made some bad decisions who's completely beat down, he can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, yet he knows inside of him there's this voice telling him that I need a little bit more, I need to be there for my daughter, I need to love, I've got these feelings, I've got these emotions that I need to help get out to get take care of my daughter because that's what's most important. You've got good parents, you've got a lot more going from you. If you sit down and you write a pros and cons list of what's good about you and what's bad about you, I guarantee you that good one's gonna be fucking longer. So right now, bro, you need to make a decision to figure out what you're gonna do to get this kid back. If I'm you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up, make sure I got no drugs, no alcohol in my system. And I'm gonna go down to a courthouse, I'm gonna ask the clerk of courts, this is my paperwork, what are my rights, I want my fucking daughter back. 